Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to more Ratchet and Clank. Previously, we met Clank after he crash landed on our home planet. We and then we started our globe trotting galactic adventure, blowing things up along the way. Unfortunately, we were trying to look for Captain Quark, who turned out to betray us. And now we don't really know what the hell we're doing. But there is one thing that we do know. There's going to be a whole lot of destruction. Anyway, we're on planet, uh, this is Fort Kronos on the planet Battalia, and we've been tasked by the commando to find him near the city entrance, I think, so... I guess we got nothing else better to do since, uh... Kind of stuck here until we help him, so we might as well go help him. First, I'm gonna check the vendor, as always, to see what's available. Hi there, Fuzzball. And as it turns out, there is something new. The Devastator. Now, normally this is the point where I would make some kind of sales pitch about what this weapon is in an attempt to explain its features and, and why you should buy it, but... Really, it's, it's a rocket launcher. I mean, you point it at something you don't like, pull the trigger, and then it's gone. What, what more do you need me to tell you about it? So yes, now we have a rocket launcher. I guess the one thing I could mention is that the Devastator has a lock-on feature. In first-person mode, when you're using L1, once you point your cursor over something, it'll paint a green crosshair over it. Launching... Then the missile will track its target. Uh, unfortunately, uh... Gadgetron cannot ensure 100% accuracy on targets that are moving very erratically or very quickly, so... Lock-on isn't guaranteed, but against more slower-moving targets, you'll hit your target when there's a lock-on. No sense wasting rockets on these little guys. Okay, so we got a way we can go to the right, or we can go straight. Let's go straight first. This kind of mook is the perfect target for the Devastator, as it'll fire a string of bullets at you, which thankfully you can avoid simply by jumping to the side. But they can shoot you from pretty far away, so the Devastator is a good choice for to hit them. Oh, that's another chair creak. I'm gonna have to replace this chair at some point. It's reasonably comfortable, but... Oh, hello. Bomb lobber. Yeah, these guys like to hide in the grass and will pop up when you get too close. And then they'll lob grenades at you, which is never a good time. But you can usually counter them with a rocket or a grenade of your own. Also, hello, genre. It's good to see you here. Now, let's see. Oh, hello. There we go. Goodbye. Okay, so first, you might have seen the shiny gold bolt at the top of this jump slot. Well, now it's ours. And secondly, there's an optional trespasser puzzle here. As you can see, because it's optional, it's much more complicated than the others. But... Put that one... Put this... Yeah, this works. Hmm. I remember this one being a bit harder than the others, so it might take me a little while, but then you can all laugh at how, I, at how I'm failing to solve a puzzle aimed at seven-year-olds. So can't do that there. That has to go there because it blocks things. Okay, so in here are just a bunch of crates and some bolts. Still, we're gonna need all the bolts we can get, because we basically spent everything we had to buy the Devastator. So yeah, for those of you who haven't been following me on Twitter, shameless plug, uh, I just came back from vacation a few days ago, and it was a super swell time, but uh, it's good to be getting back into this as well. See, there's some more bolts over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Enemy generator. Okay, now that we've cleaned out here, let's cross this completely intact bridge. 
You know, normally I'd be more surprised by that, but I already knew that was going to happen. See, I can see a gunner over... Excuse me, I'm trying to pick up my... I'm trying to choose my weapon. Oh, I don't have the Devastator on my quick select. Yeah, once you manage to get more than, like, eight weapons and gadgets combined, you're gonna have to figure out what you want. But thankfully, you can retool your quick select to choose whatever you need. Got him. Got him. Let's see, there's a little alcove with some bolts here. And some badly needed ammunition. Yummy. Alright, uh, let's see. I think the bridge is out over there, so we're gonna have to... Oh, hello. I know you're hiding in there. I thought... He's a wizard! He just warped over there! Fortunately, your, your wizardry is no match for the power of explosives. Okay, so we got ourselves a bolt crank, which we can use to extend the bridge. Man, this is a dreary planet. Although, I guess this is a war zone, so I guess a war zone that was filled with sunshine and rainbows would just, uh, kind of clash, you know? I mean, that's not to say that you couldn't have a war zone in a place with rainbows and sunshine. I, I, I don't know. Maybe Candyland's having some kind of coup or something. That was a very directionalist joke, I'm sorry. Oh goody, a tank. Whatever will we do? No sense wasting more rockets on something that literally can't shoot us back. Okay, if I remember correctly, there should be some kind of, yes. Yeah, those are little sneaky robots. They carry a lot of bolts, but they won't hurt you in any way, so you don't have to worry about it. Or rather worry about them attempting to shoot you, which is a nice change of pace, as most things in this galaxy are trying to shoot us. Let's see, there's an optional path over this way. After some rudimentary platforming, it leads to the planet's second and final gold bolt. Zesty. Okay. Now we just gotta hop our way back. Oh, I didn't actually think we'd make that. How about that? Slide on down. Oh, there's two of you, eh? Oh, it shot the crates. Ow! That was my face. I need that. Okay, you're just getting hyperstruck. Okay. Ammo. There's a tank. Uh, should be able to hit it with the blaster from this range. Where's that bomb guy? There he is. Got him. Oh yeah, I can shoot the tank from here. Alright, that takes care of all the threats here. Oh, nope, I spoke too soon. But that's okay. <laughs> One. No, oh, camera goes this way. Two. Okay. There's nothing over there. Guess we just cross. Re pull out my devastator. Really, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Could have sworn there would have been something. Oh well. 
Oh hey, there's the commando. Looks like we made it. Blast that thing and won't fudge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. Infobot for Planet Orcs and Acquired. And just like uh, Ratchet and Clank were saying, we actually cannot progress this way any further. We'll need something from uh, from another planet. But that's okay. We still need to come this way anyway in order to get that info bot, so... Just take this taxi platform back to our ship. There, you can actually see, that's where we'll be heading once we, uh, once we figure out a way to climb that, uh, ventilation shaft. Let's see. Okay. Now we can go through this path. Now, I don't remember, but... I know one of these plays a very cruel trick on you, but you want to be careful of. I think it's this one. This one should have explosive boxes at the very back side. Yep. I remember that trick. Here too? No, okay. Anyway, this this will be our first real test of using our grind boots. As you can see, there's a lot of rails to grind. So let's get into it. Well, that was very short, but that's actually not the way we're supposed to go. Man, we're getting all Tony Hawk's Pro Skater up in here. But yeah, this is very simple. Just jump over the obstacles very badly, like I did. And just, you know, try not to die. Uh, with the landmines, you can actually either jump over them or swat them away with your wrench. Although, you, although it's probably much safer to jump over them. Unless you're an idiot like me and jump on top of them. Then it's not safer. No, I want to jump that way. This camera angle is far from ideal. Sproing. Boing. What? Hit. Oh, I actually cleared that. How about that? Cutting a little close, aren't we there? Who designed this? This was violating numerous health and safety regulations. Yeah. No, I want that. I'm back. How are things? Things are going great. Just trying to platform on this uh, very, very safe grind rail, as you can see. Who 
are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my Heine. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. Wait, sir, you use bus fare in this universe? Alright, whatever. But we're actually going to need his info bot, so we'll give him bus fare. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Yeah, just a few adjustments. Wow. If they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about? Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Infobot for Planet Gas Bar acquired. Alright, that was, uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of tension between Ratchet and Clank right now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. There'll be a lot more of Sonic Adventure 2, what with the rails grinding and all. Yeah, it's kind of like what inspired this. I mean, Sonic Adventure 2 came out in 2001 for the Dreamcast. This came out in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. And, uh, is much, the grinding is much better executed in this game. If only because there's like a dedicated rail switching mechanic where you lean left and right with the left analog stick and jump, so you don't have to worry about, you know, sliding off a rail or anything like that. The chat doesn't show up on the screen? What's going on? I mean, it shows up on, uh, I have my Twitch app open so I can see what people are saying, but, uh, I don't have like a twi- uh, like a chat window on stream, because I just find that kind of thing really distracting, like, you know, I've seen these displays where it's just full of stuff that, you know, really just kind of distracts from, from the game itself. Look, I don't have the production values to be able to, you know, make the super polished kind of thing. What I can promise is that it's just going to be gameplay. You're not going to see my face, you're not going to see, you know, this huge chat window taking up like a quarter of your screen you're just gonna see the game because that's what you're here for you're here for two things you're here for the streamer and you're here for the game so I figure that things that just get in the way of that are unnecessary <laughs> 